All right, how's it going, everybody? This is Trainer Connor, and it's time for another showdown Wi-Fi battle video. Now, of course, if you enjoy this, make sure you like the video and subscribe at the end so that you don't miss any more of my awesome future videos I will be putting out. Now, in this particular battle, you guys, I'm going to be using Ash Greninja. Of course, Ash Greninja was based off from the anime when Ash, the protagonist, was linked up to um, Greninja. And they became one. And it became Ash Greninja. So, Ash Greninja only works if you knock out a Pokemon. Then it changes with his ability Battle Bond and his uh, signature move Water Shuriken will be boosted in power. So that's what we'll be using. And my opponent today is Hawkmaster19919. Yes, so he's packing a rain team, as you see there. He's got Grandpa Mega Megacross, or just a regular Megacross. It doesn't really matter, it's just a Megacross. Um, he's got Pelipper, most likely with the Grizzle ability. Um, of course, Polycode also has access to uh, Drizzle. So those two will be setting up the rain there. And of course, what better Pokemon would be suitable for the rain other than, you know, some other things. But we got Kingdra. Kingdra with Swift Swim. It's going to boost up its speed. If you let it set up, it's going to be a force to be reckoned with. And then last but not least, he's got Sand Slash Alolan form. So let's go over my team real fast. Um, I've got Ash Greninja with a special set. I was looking to see if it could use uh, physical moves, but um, this is actually a mixed Greninja. So it has Water Shuriken with Dark Pulse, Ice Beam, and uh, I forgot the other move, but it's okay. Um, yeah, it's a, it's a weird set there, but I gave it enough investment to be uh, usable for what moves it got. Then we have Alolan Raichu, which is a crazy Pokemon, I will have to say that for sure. The Electric Psychic has the Z power with uh, Gigavolt Havoc there. Uh, we have a Mega Metagross. Tassarina. Tassarina is a grass type with access to Rapid Spin and Trop Kick. It's a new Pokemon I haven't really experienced before, so uh, Tassarina is a grass type, so things like Kingdra and Politoke might not be happy to see Tassarina here. Um, Mugsdale, you guys saw me use Mugsdale before, so a defensive beast. I gave it a little bit of special defense and uh, a little bit of physical attacking power so that moves like Earthquake and uh, Close Combat do damage. Last but not least, we have a Focus Sash Magmortar. I really like using Focus Sash on Magmortar for some weird reason, but it's working out, so fun stuff there. Now, I'm going to play this and... Um, Hopefully there's no music here. Let me double check here. Alright, no music. So, I'm going to play this and then I will stop to make notes of what's going on in the battle. And uh, let's go ahead and play this thing. So, my opponent is going to start out with Pelipper with the Drizzle ability. And this is working out because I start out with Raichu because I was looking at how many water type Pokemon are on the screen there. So it's like, yeah, let's start with Raichu. Now he does withdraw going to Grandpa, and of course Grandpa is a dragon, normal type. I didn't want to go for Thunderbolt yet. And that might be risky because, of course, you don't want to over-predict on turn one, but in this scenario, it's okay. So I go for Psychic and Stab because, of course, a Alolan Raichu is part Psychic. So with Grandpa in here, I'm going to switch out into Megacross, just trying to see what it's going to do. It goes for the Hyper Voice, um, which is a normal type. It actually does a little bit of damage there to Megacross, who resists it. 
now with the rain still going there, I'm just going to go for the Mega Evolution and click, uh, I think I went for the Meteor Mash, and we do catch a low on Sand Slash on its way in. Not like I, it's not like I predicted him to come in, I just went for it. I could have gone with a Zen Head, but if I did that, then I could have just gone for a Bullet Punch to finish him off, and I'm just going to do that, and it's actually not going to take out Sand Slash, which really surprised me. Uh, I was not aware of how defensive it is. So we take out um, Alolan Sand Slash. Next up, we have regular Mega Cross. And I believe this thing is going to go Mega as well, so it's two Megas, the same kind there. And we go for Earthquakes. Since I am lower in health, I'm going to be knocked out. But that's okay, because this will give me a great opportunity to try out Grin Ninja. Like I said, if you knock out a Pokemon, you will transform into Ash Grin Ninja. So look at this, Battle Bond, and we transform into Ash Grin Ninja. So it's the same type, but its move Water Shuriken will be boosted in power. That's all it does. I mean, the design changes, the same type is there, Water Dark, but you know, the Water type move is going to be uh, more powerful. I go for Ice Beam because it's super effective, I have access to it, but we see Berserk raising Grandpa's special attack, which is just a little unfortunate, but we survived, so that's great. I go for the Water Shuriken here, even if it's going to be targeting Polycode, Three hits of those uh, water shurikens, if that makes sense, they actually do a decent amount. Like, it does that much to Polycode. So we lose Ash Greninja, but we have a Lolan Raichu, which is my one of my great win conditions at this point. Thunderbolt is really good. Now I go for Psychic, because we still see Grandpa still on the battlefield. It's on the battlefield still. Uh, it's just there. I mean, it, yeah, and we go for Psychic. It, anyway, so Kingdra is going to use Z-Splash, which is crazy. Okay, Z-Splash raises your, uh, I believe, physical attack. It shows right there, 2.5 times attack. It doesn't do anything to the opposition, which is great for us. And our uh, opponent has a plus 2.5 attack stat. But, I go for my own Z-Power, Gigafolk Havoc. Doesn't get the job done, which sucks. Really sucks, because Waterfall is boosted in the rain, as well as its physical attack from Kingdra. And I was thinking that just Serena would come in and help us there, but it just doesn't work, because Outrage is so powerful. Thinking that my Mudsdale could take a hit because it's really bulky, I gave it enough physical defense to at least survive some physical attacking moves before Stamina. Uh, of course, Stamina will raise its defense there. Um, we survive with like, I guess, 7 HP, 5 HP, I don't know. But we survive, we hang on, and we go for the close combat. And we finish off Kingdra. Had Kingra knocked out Mugsdale there. I think we've lost the match there. I'm just saying. Now, I knew he might outspeed me with his Polycode, but it's okay, because my last Pokemon is Magmortar, which you guys realize that I do have coverage for these guys in the form of Thunderbolt. And it's going to clean out Pelipper, which is awesome. And I should be able to outspeed Polycode. I'm pretty sure, and we do. So we finish off our opponent with a fire type, and we knock out two water types. Go do this at home, guys. It's risky, but in this scenario, it works out. So that's the match. I won this 6 to 5 or 1 0, if you want to go that way. And that is it. So, uh, as I am saying this right now, I'm still breeding some Pokemon. My target is a Persian Alolan form. Once I get a team together, I will go online and I will be posting some real uh, Sun and Moon battle videos for your viewing leisure. But for now, I'm going to be trying out stuff on Showdown. I hope you guys enjoy them. Anyway, so if you enjoyed the match, make sure you like this video, subscribe, and I will 
See you next time. Goodbye, trainers.